Hello, today I'm here with a new video and you may be asked what the hell has she done to her hair? I don't know. I have had my side cut for like six years and I don't know how to have another hairstyle. Just ignore it and yeah, I am doing a little get red with me and you may be asking yourself or you don't, I don't know where I have been and you maybe can hear I don't know how how much you can hear when I'm speaking English and also how much the camera picking up I don't know but I've been sick I have not been that sick so I haven't I have been at work um, but I have had a cold and it like it is like the worst freaking cold ever. Now it has gone like one and a half week and I still cough like a freaking old smoker or something. I will try to edit it out but if I look a little, a little bit like this it's because I have been coughing. That's such, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation of that word. But yeah, I have had a cold and that's why it hasn't come up in the videos. Because I just want to have some pity. When I got sick, my boyfriend wasn't home that weekend. I was home alone, all sick. I didn't like having a voice. I felt so sorry for myself and nobody was home to take care of me. It was awful. And then I have been like this yeah, for one and a half weeks now and it feels like it never will get better because I still can't sleep at night. Because every time I move I start to cough. But I have missed YouTube so much so I was like fuck this shit I am recording a video. How strange I may sound. So, I hope you can bear with this voice. Because I have lived with it for such a long time. Yeah. So, I am doing a dread with me, chatting about stuff, testing new stuff. Maybe I don't know how long we will come. If it sounds like I'm going to cry, I am not. It's just this thing going on. And I am like, if it's not better by next week. I'm calling the doctor because I can't live my life like this. I, I feel good in every other way. Uh, my throat isn't hurting, my head is not hurting, my body is not hurting anymore, it will say. So yeah, uh, I will use the Dragon Child palette. If you know, me and this little baby has some troubles. Um, I can leave my Felix One palette and review up here. And I will try this palette today and see if me and this palette can make it work. So how is it with all of you? Is everything okay? It feels like from YouTube I just went missing. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, do because on Instagram I post when I'm sick and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're wondering where I am, go and check my Instagram. And I haven't done my makeup for such a long time. Today when I'm filming this, this is Tuesday and on Sunday. Of course I made my boyfriend sick as well, so our home this week. It's been looking like total shit. And the worst thing also when I got sick, yeah, I'm going to stop talking about my sickness sometime, yes. But that week, I became sick on Friday. And that whole week, it was like a hell week on work. Last month I worked like a maniac, almost. So if, 
I guess I'm pretty tired of that as well. So yeah. Okay, I think this shade is better now than the first time, but I don't really know if I like how it looks. And I have a lot of new makeup. Mostly eyeshadows. Okay, maybe not a lot. But some new makeups that I have bought. Makeups. Some new eyeshadows I have bought and not have tried yet. So it's going to be so exciting. One thing we can talk about a little bit. It's the whole situation with Wet n Wild. I am so angry with them. And if you... I have a cruelty free channel. I don't know if you know that, but I do. And I have always liked Wet n Wild because I think they have good products to a good price. And there has never been a problem with them. But then it came out that they are selling in China. And I am not an expert on this. But if you sell in mainland China, then the government test your products on animals even if you don't want to. If, even if you don't as a company do that, the government in China will do it for you um, because otherwise you can't sell it in China. But it's only in mainland China and Wet n Wild has said that they do not test on animals, no other parties do test on animals on their behalf and then it I think it was cruel to free kitty came out and said that wet and wild is selling in mainland China I got pictures of like their air from a shop uh, and everything and then wet and wild responded to this and was like yeah we have been selling in China but we don't test on animals and we have gone past this or around this laws and I am like you can't even if you can I think the shitty thing with Wet n Wild is that they have said that they are cruelty free and not sell in mainland China. And then it came up to the surface that they actually do. And then they tried like, yeah, but we are not we're not the same as everybody else because they don't test our products on animals. And I'm like, yeah, but you have lied about this. You have told your customers that you don't and then when people do you say it in English when people cut up with a lie no that's the wrong when somebody busts you it's wrong as well I hope you get what I'm trying to say but when people notice your products in China you're like yeah but we are not we are not a part of that. We are a part of. We are not a part of that. And I'm like, yeah, but you have lied. The problem isn't that you test on animals. The big problem in this is not that China tests your products on animals. The big problem is that you have lied to your customers. That's the big problem. I have some wet and white products. I'm still going to use them, but I am not going to use it on my channel anymore. I can understand that brands want to sell in China because China, China is such a big country. It is huge, and to get into the Chinese market for brand, it's like have saved your future. So I get that as a brand you want to sell in China because it is such a big market, but just stand for it then. Just tell everybody that we're going to sell in China because it's like the biggest market in the world. I can buy that. I will still think you are a shitty brand for testing on animals, but just 
just tell your customers the truth that you uh, you want uh, money from the Chinese market. Then I'm completely, I'm more okay with it. But if you are like, no, we don't do it, and then somebody yes, you do, and yeah, it's we we do it, but so yeah, that's the situation with me and with Wild. I am not going to buy the products anymore. I'm not going to throw away the products I have, but I'm not going to include them in my videos anymore. Okay, what do we think about this look? I don't know if I look like a crazy person, but I think we just have to roll with it. So I will take this fallout away and then we will I will do my base and I will try get something to talk about yeah and I also also want to thank you all that's watching me after that nine-way collab I have grown so much and that feels so great and you are all so nice it has been so good this week when I have just felt sorry about myself to see all your comments and all your love I thank you thank you thank you and I really wanted to be back on YouTube took the last of this one I thought this was going to be empty for such a long time ago but now it's it's empty so I just want to thank you all new and old subscribers I am so happy to have you here and I promise I am soon going to be back and I got too much foundation. This foundation I can't use too much because then it's too dark. Okay, and one other thing that has happened, it's not like... Okay, why did I start like that? Because it's not like anything has happened. Me and my boyfriend, we always watch one series at a time. Okay, he watched Game of Thrones. I don't. And But other than that, we have been checking house of cards i think it is okay i don't get the hype over it and also sometimes it's i don't know how it is for you that watch me that live in the us and then has seen house of cards but like this whole political system in the us it's different from the one in sweden I wouldn't say that I'm an expert on the Swedish political system, but I know the Swedish political system. But in House of Cards, when they are talking about like congressmen, senators, governors, a whipper, I am like, who the hell is who? I googled a lot the first seasons and like, okay, he is over him. Now I get it. But like now the last... We have one episode left. We are going to watch this. The Tonight. Eura is from the US. Do you get like the whole political system? And then they start to talk about like the... Constitution and like amending the fifth. Okay, that's in courts. But... Like the constitution and war rights and I'm like, oh my god, do you have to do it so hard? It was like um, when we watched The Wire, I love The Wire, one of my favorite shows ever. They have, if you haven't seen The Wire, it's, I think it's five seasons and all the seasons is in the same town but it's different parts of town so i think the first se season is the police then it's the harbor then it's maybe the school system then a newspaper and then a political season or something like that and like the school system and the police that was easy but then it was like the political system and with the police chef and Okay, now I'm going to try a product that I'm a little bit afraid of. This is... I asked on my Instagram story if you had any recommendations for a contour stick. 
super cream contour. And I got some tips, but Emily, Emily, I did a collab with our makeup upload for Fesh. She recommended this one. This is Snape and Fab Coal Tube Top. And I was like, okay, that's cheap. It's cruelty free. I will test it. So it just stick like this. And it looks like this. I swatched it on my hand and I think it looked good. So I will try it. Oh. I don't know how to hold it. Oh, that's, uh, that's what, that was a lot. That, that was a lot. I hope I can blend this out. Or else I'm screwed. Okay, this side is not okay, but it's not the worst. But this side, I think it's a little bit too much. I think we can all agree that it's a little bit too much for me. So, have you seen either The Wire or House of Cards? And what did you think about them? I think I would not recommend House of Cards, but I can recommend The Wire. Okay, and then I'm ready for some blush, and I think I will just go with the Linda Holberg palette. And I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but I thought like my boyfriend was away, not this weekend, but the weekend before. And then I was like, I'm going to film so many videos because I didn't have planned anything else to do and I was like I'm going to film like six videos or something and then this shit came around so no videos were made that weekend so I haven't even pre-filmed anything because I was like I want to spend time with my boyfriend before he goes away and he was on a he smoked cigars and it was like a, it's called Big Smoke in uh, Copenhagen so he and some other people that he's in a cigar club and he and like I think they were maybe six or seven they rented like a minivan and drove to Copenhagen and was on this cigar conference or I don't really know what it was but he was there and he smelled smelled like shit when he came out the cigar smelled not pleasant okay what do we think about this look even I don't really know all I know is I want to use some setting spray and it's my little and maybe this contour wasn't too bad I don't think it's that visible on camera I hope okay I, I hope it's a visible on camera but not too visible that it's shitty I mean I'm going to put something on my watch line and I bought like a lot of new pens from Colourpop and yes I have a little baby head to have them in <laughs> I bought like their new I think it was 20 new ones um, so I bought them all because it was one item because it was a bundle and I don't really know what I want to use maybe this one maybe that's a little bit more Maybe we should just take like this. Maybe we should take this. I think we should take this. This crazy electric daze. A daze. I think this can be pretty cool, or is it a super wrong family? But I want to do something, or maybe I should just take this. I think I take this. This is Sulu. And then I will put the baby away, uh, so the baby won't drop or fell on the floor and crack. Nobody wants a cracked baby. Nobody wants a crack baby either, but... Okay, I actually think I like this look. 
sometimes you just need to get everything in place before you can say if you're happy with the look or not. And if we're going to like sum up if I have changed my mind about the Dragon Child palette. Um, this color, color, color Dragon Rider, it worked so much better like packing it on in the crease so I guess it works with a different technique that I usually do so maybe I've changed my mind about the palette I really don't know but it worked with more packing on and then blend it a little bit out instead of like blending it out immediately like I usually do. do. I am not that mad at this palette anymore because I think this look turns out pretty, pretty okay. I'm just going to choose a lipstick for this. I think I will go with this Gemini. Gemini if you didn't get it. Okay, so this is the finished look in my little Get Red With Me and my little Redemption with the Dragon Child. I really hope you liked this video. I don't know what this was for kind of video. It was a pretty long video at least. That so much I know. So I really hope you liked this video. And I hope I will be back as normal soon. So yeah I really hope you liked this video. And I want to thank you all for being here. For all the comments you give me. And for liking my videos. That makes me really 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 happy. So thank you for that. And yeah I really hope you liked this video. And I hope I will be back soon with my normal schedule again. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I promise you this is not my normal voice. So yeah, I really hope you liked this. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!